Right. Yeah. So I'm getting ready to uh, connect up the uh, starter motor, but I'm putting new leads in to connect the starter motor to the battery. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but I mean, this new lead here was twice, at least twice as thick as the original. Look how thin that original cable is. And that's the same uh, with all the cables, these original cables here and the replacement ones. Now, basically the cables, I don't know, I really don't know what Triumph were thinking at the time because these cables are just too thin to, to uh, carry a huge amount of current down. You know, they're simply just not like wide enough <laughs> to, for loads of current to shoot down these cables. So the cables just get very hot and the starter motor doesn't work very well. Um, now, now, I don't know much about electrics. I know virtually nothing about electrics, but I do know that, that you look, for a large amount of current, you want a huge, a big, wide cable. So why on earth Triumph, in all their wisdom, Triumph MVT, shall we say, why they fitted these puny cables in the first place, who knows? It, you know, I mean, it's sort of like basic, sort of, you know, electrics part one, but there we go. So if your starter on any bike, really, on the same on the Norton Commando, if it's a bit slow, simply by uprating these cables, that will give you 10, 20% more power. Uh, and, um, you know, if you start on one of these, even if you start with one of these big cables, you turn it over a few times, touch the cable, you'll find out it's hot because the current's trying to, trying to get through. If you start up on one of these cables, especially if you turn it over a few times, you'll find this is really hot because the current's just trying to get through and it can't get through. Um, yeah, so always, always upgrade to these uh, thicker cables. And there's a, it's a longer cable here for the earth, and that's good because it means that we can get a better earth uh, probably on top of, on top of the engine uh, rather than uh, just onto the frame. So it's good to have that longer, longer cable. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to earth it yet, but I think maybe on, on top of the engine. Uh, that's the cable from the uh, um, battery to the solenoid. And that's the cable, which is longer, but that's okay, from the solenoid to the starter motor. It's only a short cable, but um, it's fine that it's a bit longer. So I'm just going to uh, put those in a bit. Okay, we're just wiring up the starter motor. So we've got the wire coming from the relay over there, which has got two wires on it. It's got a white and red, and that goes to the big spade connector at the bottom of the solenoid. Then we've also got brown and blue, and that goes to this right-hand terminal. Then the left, uh, and then on the left-hand terminal, we connected the new thicker cable from that terminal to the side of a starter motor, just a short wire. Okay, and then in the last thing we're going to do in a minute, we're going to be uh, connecting this large cable, which goes direct to the to the battery, and that will be connected to also connected to this terminal on the right of the solenoid. Oh dear. With the um, and the, and the cable will go under the starter motor with all the other cables, okay? It's important to note that this, if you can just see it, there's a little spade connector here, a small spade connector, and above it is written IGN, ignition. But that spade, that spade connector stays unconnected. So, um, okay, so you don't use that one. You just use the big spade connector at the bottom for the white and red, and then the uh, brown and blue goes to the screw terminal, and the life, the big life of the battery, which I'm going to do now, and I'll take I'll video it after I've done it, goes to that terminal as well. It all goes under the starter motor, and the last thing is that the cable from the um, alternator will also go under the under the starter motor, and it will connect. We'll connect it up at the back. But I'll put on that live feed from the battery first. 
Okay, uh, we've completed the wiring now. So we've got this large, thick black cable which will be going to the battery negative. Goes down under the starter motor and connects here to the post on the right together with the uh, brown and blue uh, wire from the uh, relay. The red and white from the relay goes to the big uh, spay connector at the bottom. And the short cable from the solenoid to the starter goes from that post there through to the starter. Okay. And this small spade here is left blank. Then uh, we've got the wire from the uh, alternator or stator that also goes underneath the starter motor and uh, the two wires have been connected into the loom there, the red and green and the red and white. Okay, and that wire will carry on down and then we've got the, we've got the brake switch, rear brake switch, We've got the um, oil pressure switch, and then we've got the neutral switch. Okay, so all, all on that cable that's going to be carrying on down in a minute. Okay, so that's all the starter finished. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the cover plate on. And when the cover plate's on, then we can put the carbs on.